Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, but specifically, we're going to talk about the Bitcoin dominance. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Now, we've spoken a lot over the last several months about the Bitcoin dominance and the idea that it should start trending much higher. Now, since the beginning of the year, we have been putting in higher lows so far, but it sort of begs the question, what is going on with the most recent week in the drop of the Bitcoin dominance after going from around 42%, or I guess 41% up to 48%, and now we're all the way back down at 44%. Now, one of the things that I've seen a lot of people comment on and, and they say they would like to see included in this analysis are stable coins, okay? Because if, if the dominance is going down, there's, you know, there could be more than one reason. Is it because altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin or is it because stablecoin dominance is going up, right? Like if the stablecoin dominance is going up, then that could be the reason why the Bitcoin dominance is in fact going out down rather than altcoins outperforming it. So I, I wanted to, to talk about that specifically. So I, I wanted to make a dedicated video on it so that we can actually explore um, that idea. All right. So this is the Bitcoin dominance when you include stable coins. All right. Now you can you, you can sort of manipulate TradingView to show you what the what the dominance is, not including stable coins um, with some you know fairly long and drawn out formulas. However, I, you know, I just added it to the website. This is Bitcoin dominance, okay? This is including stable coins. So in this one, we're actually including stable coins. And you can see that it, it looks pretty similar to what we're experiencing right now on, on the Bitcoin dominance chart, right? A fairly nice move down. If you look at it on the daily time frame, this is what it looks like, okay? And, and we've replicated that on, on the website, right? We've replicated that same thing. Now, where it gets interesting, I guess this is where, where it gets interesting is specifically the idea of including stable coins or not including stable coins. So when you include stable coins, you can see that the Bitcoin dominance has had a fairly nice pullback, right? Fairly nice pullback. And, and it, you can see very, very similar, similar values. Again, on TradingView, the dominance is showing 43.89%. On the website, is showing 43.74%. So it's a fairly close, it's a fairly close match. Of course, getting, you know, figuring out exactly what coins are included on, on various websites, the dominance can change slightly from one website to another. But if we switch this to include or to not include stable coins, you get a slightly different chart. It still shows a slight pullback recently, but there are some differences. So what do you notice? Okay. What do you notice when you look at this chart versus this one? When you look at this one, you can see that the dominance has just been going more or less straight down for the last week after going up for five straight weeks. When you don't include stable coins, it hasn't gone down nearly as much. And in fact, when you don't include stable coins in the calculation, the Bitcoin dominance is actually already over 52%. Now, if you zoom in on what's been going on recently, it, even when you don't include stable coins, the dominance has gone down slightly, okay? Because it went to 55.5%. And now it's dropped down to about it dropped down to about 52.7. But since so oh, since then, the last couple of days, in fact, it actually has been going sideways rather than down. But if you switch it back to including stable coins, you can see that it's been going down when you include stable coins. So in reality, the last couple of days, we've actually seen the Bitcoin dominance go down because stablecoin dominance is going up. But earlier this week, we saw Bitcoin dominance go down because altcoins were also outperforming Bitcoin in the short term, okay? Now, if we if we take a step back further, we can also, you know, we can smooth this out by let's say looking at a, a, a weekly moving average. Um, and I, I still think it, it shows a fairly clear picture that the Bitcoin dominance is going much higher. If you just look at it without stable coins, you could argue that we're still sort of in this range. However, if you take the stable coins away, again, we've already broken out of this range. And, and it's likely only a matter of time before breaking out of this range is also reflected just on the normal Bitcoin dominance chart where you where you are including stable coins. Okay, so 
you know, how, how could this actually happen? Because what we're seeing right now is that the Bitcoin dominance is in fact going down as the price of Bitcoin continues to go down. Well, again, I think it's because people are flocking to stable coins right now, not necessarily altcoins. And that's what's, you know, at least over the last two or three days, that's what led to the Bitcoin dominance continuing to go down. With that said, whenever Bitcoin, whenever Bitcoin sort of um, finds a local bottom, I clearly don't know exactly when that's going to be. But whenever it does, I, I do imagine that you still you, you'll likely see the Bitcoin dominance go up as as people probably flock back to that one first before before going into the into the riskier altcoins. So, yeah, this, this pullback by the Bitcoin dominance has has been quite quite a lot, dropping from 48 percent back down to 44. Um, but you could still argue we are, in fact, putting in theoretically higher lows. This will, we'll see if this one ends up being a higher low or not, but theoretically higher lows so far. And again, when you include or when you don't include stable coins, the Bitcoin dominance chart certainly looks a lot more bullish, right? It's just those 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 pesky stable coins that are that are making the Bitcoin dominance not look um, quite as good. So we'll see ultimately where this goes. I, I know some people. One of the things I keep seeing people say is, well, you know, altcoins are holding up relatively well against Bitcoin, but again. You know, if you look at the macro picture, they're, they're really not. I mean, maybe if you cherry pick the local bottom, you could argue that they are. Again, Ether Bitcoin, it's more or less just going straight down right now. You know, if you if you want to cherry pick the local bottom and and say that it's up about six or seven percent, you can. But you can also see that it's it's basically just been in a, in a fairly steady downtrend um, since the the middle of May. Even if you go look at say like Ada Bitcoin, it has seen a fairly nice move to the upside. Right, you could argue that it's just going back up to that 200-day moving average, right, which is where it got rejected at more or less back in back in January. Um, again, you go look at Dot Bitcoin, also in a macro downtrend. It has spiked recently, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's necessarily changing the macro trend. It it also spiked in January. It also spiked in March. Now it's spiking in June, right? Maybe it'll spike again in two months doesn't necessarily mean that the local bottom is in or the macro bottom is in, I should say, on all Bitcoin pairs. And you can go down the list, right? You can go down the list on, on most of these and, and see, in fact, that they are just sort of in, in macro downtrends, these all Bitcoin pairs, right? They just sort of remain in macro downtrends. And again, you can always you can always cherry pick local bottoms and say, well, they're up, right? But you could have also cherry picked the same thing in March. And, and you see where that led us, right? I mean, we eventually just went and put in a lower low. So, um, yeah, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, if you identify what you think is a likely trend, it doesn't have to do something, you know, it doesn't have to do that in a, in a monotonic, like it doesn't have to go monotonically up or monotonically down. It can go zigzag, right? Where it, you know, where it sort of goes up for a while then comes back and then goes back up and then comes back. And, and then it sort of can continue that pattern rather than just going straight up or straight down. Okay. So, you know, with all of that in mind, I, I, I would argue that alts are likely going to lose against their Bitcoin pairs uh, for, for many months to come off and on. There will always be, a, you know, a few weeks here and there where they there will likely outperform. But this is just what history has taught us many, many times. And again, I mean, you know, even, even this cycle, some, sometimes people say, well, history doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, and, you know, while there could be some elements to truth to that, even, I mean, even this cycle, you're still, again, looking at, at the, the reckoning of, of alt Bitcoin pairs. We're just currently finding ourselves in a, in a bounce off of a local low, okay, by some of the altcoins and not even all of them. Some of them are, are still going down. But I, I just wanted to, to provide that update because a lot of people had asked about that. Um, you know, how does it compare when you include stable coins or when you don't? Just to, just to clarify again, uh, when you do include stable coins, this is what the chart looks like. When you don't include stable coins, this is what the chart looks like. You've already, we've already broken out of this range when you don't include them. Okay, so I, I think it's more, much more likely to continue going higher, and I think that the Bitcoin dominance will continue going higher even when you in, we even when you do include stable coins. It's just you know a matter a matter of time before we get those bear market rallies whenever whenever they do in fact occur. I think we'll wrap it up there. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys want access to this chart as well as a lot of other charts. You can find that at Into the Crypto Reverse Premium. We are having the sale right now, so lock in the lower rate and uh, you can keep it as long as you do not cancel. 
That'll um, end this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.